Um, I'm going to review the Gothic Lolita diaper. And um, this is a really fun diaper for me because I love wearing Gothic Lolita. I love it. I love all the ruffles and the bows and the lace and just how childish and cute and, you know, whenever I wear stuff, people always mistake me for younger. Um, and so that's just like when people treat you like you're a little girl because they think you're a little girl then it's just so much easier to get into it. So I love wearing like gothic Lolita dresses with like these diapers and tights. Um, but I think this is a pretty good diaper. Um, it's the same as the new ones that we just got this week. Um, the ones with the little kitties and the little puppies. Um, <laughs> but um, I really like the detail to this diaper. So this diaper has, you know, the tapes right here. They've got like cute little hearts and stuff down here. Um, and then of course the little duckies and diaper pins and all of that. Um, but I just really, I love this. I mean, it's just, it's so awesome. It's just so girly having like little roses everywhere. and. Just, and it's pink. I, whoever came up with the pink diaper must be making a lot of money because all they had to do was make a pink diaper and it was just like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. I've never even thought of that before. So good job with that. Um, this diaper has two tapes on it. So I find the fit to be really well fitting for my body. Um, and I've put it on a couple of other girls, and I've actually not done so to any boys, but um, they seem to fit other girls too. So um, for me, that's just like a must. Like, you know, I, I, it's not that I mind leaking exactly, but a diaper properly put on is very important. Because um, I like that tight feeling and you know, some of the other diapers, you just don't get that because it just isn't the right shape or something. Um, this diaper is, um, it's not super thin. Um, it's also not super thick, but you can definitely wet in these. Um, and, um, yeah, I really, really, really like this diaper um just it's an immediate attraction for like little girls and gothic lolita just goes so well with like a lot of little girls like a lot of age players are really into gothic lolita because of the way it just makes us feel and so there's really nothing about this diaper that i don't like um Obviously, it's not a cloth diaper, which is super duper duper thick. Um, and, um, hi, ladybug. Um, hello. Why does everybody want to be in my video blog? Stop fridge kissing me! Ugh. Ugh. The dog kissed me. Yuck. Ah! Ah! Calm down. I command you to calm down. I'm giving a review. I'm giving a review. You're messing up my review, which you just... She thinks she's being a good dog. Fine, fine. I'm petting you. Are you happy? Okay, you want to lick me now. What was I saying before I was so rudely interrupted? Yes. Mm -hmm. You're my good bad dog. Yep, you wag that tail because you know you're a good bad dog. I felt bad as a puppy because she was a bad dog, but I didn't want to make her feel bad that she was a bad puppy. So I called her my good bad dog. And I didn't believe at like yelling at her or anything. So her puppy years were kind of like rough. So I always said it very affectionately. But yeah, this is my good dog. This is my good bad dog. So see, it's all very positive. Anyways, 
Um, I would give this diaper a nine because it's all pink. It's completely girly. Um, I love the print on it. I love the fit of it. I love that I can wear it for an extended period of time and be completely covered. <laughs> Get it covered. Sorry, I'm not very funny. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. This is a really good diaper. It's one of my favorites. If you don't like Gothic Lolita, you might not like it as much, but again, just like the inside swirlies, it's just, they're super duper cute. Whoever designed those with like the roses and stuff, I'm just like, wow, you are awesome. I would give this a nine. <laughs>